What's up, guys? This is a heist. No, it's We're not. All about it. What's what up, guys? You, what My name is Heist. I mean, Khan. No, Wait. what do you say? You're like, you're like, hey, everyone. No, what do you say? You say what's what's up? What's you up, guys? What's this up? is Heist, man. It's just this easy. Heist. Yeah, right. Uh, and then you go. What's up, from, guys? Like, My name is Khan. We're we're doing yeah. train stuff. We're back with more railroads well, got, online. How's it going, Heist? You just. Getting your exercise in. Dude, I'm um, getting my exercise in, running around the yard. We got two yeah. engines. Perfect. We, we finished the line to the iron mine, and by we, yes. I mean you. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> it was, it was, dude, it was a doozy. Oh my god. Getting down from where we ended off, like that bridge height, is ridiculous. Ridiculous. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm excited to see it, and uh, I hope that we can pull more than one car with two locomotives. We will just I don't see. Know. We need to buy more trains. We are extremely broke. I have six hundred eighty dollars. Uh, so we gotta make some have. money. We're gonna try yeah. and run some stuff to the iron mine to show you guys the line that we built. Uh, yeah. And you know maybe uh, make some money from there because goodness we need something that can actually pull the hill. <laughs> yeah. And then so I wanted to, once we get to the iron mine we'll talk about it. But I was thinking for the coal mine the iron mine route is six and a half percent right like it's it's like one percent everywhere and then it gets up to like six and a half percent when you get up onto the hill. And I'm thinking for the coal mine, we might have to do, if we want to continue from the iron mine, we might have to just do a 10% route to get to the, like, clear the coal mine pass. Oh, ridiculous. <laughs> but I feel like it would be cool because if we're always using helper engines, then, you know, get some bigger helper engines. You know what I mean? Yeah, have we're going like to need some serious helpers. power over there, yeah. Yeah, have like three class 48s, just, you know, or a couple Heislers. Just, that's your helper engine, you know, you boot just out chunky. the big boys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And then it would be cool because you're like your iron mine and your coal mine trains are both going up that same, as you called it, model railroad route, right? Like, <laughs> Ridiculous spaghetti bowl of track, yeah. <laughs> but it, it's not realistic. to If you were surveying this area, you would 100% blast some rock, maybe make some cutouts, a tunnel or two, probably go the other way that's a little longer but smoother, you know? Yeah. The, the, the cliffside pass. But this time... We know we wanted to do something a little bit different, so I think it's gonna be a lot of fun for the sake of the game. But yeah, yeah. definitely not realistic compared to our smelter layout. <laughs> no, I gotta say uh, so it is gotta... it is really funny looking at these two engines next to each other, where the Montezuma's drivers are almost twice the size of Betsy's, and Betsy's just sitting there screaming fast, yeah, and Montezuma's like barely away. doing anything. <laughs> um, I gotta I gotta turn this switch left. You might have to slow down. I'm not able to outrun okay i've got my brake on it doesn't do much go but up. we are braking some lumber and beams <laughs> you're finally getting ahead of me all right there we go here we Perfect. go continue shoving now <laughs> and then i will go and check this other switch so yeah we're gonna uh, load up lumber and beams the hill is a doozy six and a half percent montezuma could barely pull a caboose up it so it's gonna be just great yeah. Yeah, we're gonna be probably like quadrupling the hill at least, if if we're lucky. If not more, yeah, we'll, we'll try a couple cars, but I I don't know the the lumber cars are really heavy. Yeah. Now I wasn't using sand. I don't know how much. If you're not that... slipping, the sand doesn't do anything. Sand oh, does not increase tractive effort. Sand it's just increases your adhesion. Yeah. So if you're slipping, so... you need sand, but otherwise, yeah, it doesn't do much for you. So basically, if, if my wheels are spinning and I'm still maintaining traction, adding sand is not going to improve my ability to climb the hill. Well, if you're slipping, yes, the sand will help. But if you're not slipping, yeah, then it doesn't do anything. Okay, well, that'll be... The engine puts out as much tractive effort as it puts out. And it's only by... Uh, it's only based on boiler pressure, the cylinder diameter, cylinder stroke, and the wheel diameter. That's it. Nothing else. Now, for this kind of a system we've got you obviously have the pull bar in front and we're pulling the pull bar would it make more sense to have an engine at the back pushing and one pulling or would you always want just all of them pulling and keeping it under tension it, like would there ever it be depends there is merit to both depending on the train um and in okay. this era there's you know typically you'd end up with engines on the head end more so than edit engines on the rear because everything is a wooden frame with no steel reinforcement and right. you would end up like shoving the cars in half basically so they just bend them in half they'd bend in half they'd break in half um later on particularly on the rio grande railroad that uh, we talk about all the time on my channel you would see pictures of the big engines uh where they would be double heading or they would have an engine on the rear or a mid-train helper or something but if they had an engine all the way on the back they'd have the caboose behind the engine 
because they reinforced all, reinforced all the freight cars, but they didn't reinforce the cabooses. So it was illegal to shove through the caboose was the uh, the rule because you'd you know break the thing in half basically. That's interesting. Oh, I'm, I'm messing up the feng shui by loading these oh, cars I, I don't, at the same I don't, time. Yeah, I don't, I don't care. The feng shui is not going to matter. Once we get to the iron mine, um, I did set up the iron mine kind of like the smelter as well. So it's going to be it's its own industry. Um, it doesn't have a loop track. So we're going to have to get up there with the cars and kind of pull them apart, shunt them into various shunt lanes, you know, unload them piece by piece, and then put the train back together to head back down. So it's going to be a real process to actually work the iron mine, which will be kind of cool. Well, that'll be um, neat. Just like the smelter, you know, it's kind of exciting when you have to actually work the industries a little bit more. Um, you know, it's, it's uh, I don't know, it, may, it makes for a different experience. And I feel like it, it's more realistic, you know, all the big loops, like the loops we have here, they're super cool and functional, but like you were saying, it just it just wouldn't happen. Yeah, you would you would hardly ever see that. I mean, these days, uh, when railroads design, oh, that's, that's, uh, ah! oh, uh, we oh, good? It's good. Okay. Yeah, no, I think it's good. These days, when railroads design new terminals, like um, the, one of the railroads I worked for was talking about this big project that they did, where they designed like an industry terminal for growth thing, where it was like they built the rail alignment to just make sense so that you know anyone could buy or lease the space and then the, the train was set up in a really smart way so that they could just run loops around and do that but uh in this era that definitely was not the case <laughs> they just but how does that work when they're building like rail terminals in cities and stuff like that like you're limited by development that already exists right like you're, yeah. there's nothing you can do about it you're just you are very limited by the boundary conditions of the city and everything. And obviously the railroad, I mean, being common carriers and really the driver of the economy, they have some amount of pull and some amount of say in being able to, you know, make things happen and massage things to add more tracks to do what they got to do. But most of the stuff in cities is kind of historic at this point, you know, older, uh, older alignments and all that stuff. So just because, I mean, yeah, you couldn't add a new rail line at this point without demolishing a bunch of stuff. And sometimes that's the game that you got to play. All right. I think we're good we got um is that last one loading the cranes don't animate when you click on them for some reason oh yeah that's right yeah this one's about to load all right, we're all right good. so, so yeah, now we got to pull ahead enough to load the last one and we'll see yeah, uh, see how this planks. feels we're not we're not getting up the hill <laughs> in one, in one <laughs> try <laughs> no, we no. could try it we could go full speed and we see how far see we just get. how far we yeah um, we're not getting very far i don't though, think I'm we're gonna make it past that uh that first big bridge that cl crosses back over the helper line i don't, I don't think, think we're gonna it, make it past that it's six and a half percent like to put that in perspective if you're let me see what would be the easiest comparison for people if you're six and a half percent that means for every hundred feet you go six and a half feet up so for every what 10 feet you go up uh 0.6 of a foot or whatever yeah so something, that's yeah oh i'm actually i'm gonna overwrite this Pretty oh no steep. i'm a bad i'm a failure how I'm far gonna, do i need to stop. pull ah. don't it's gonna override these beams won't it yeah it will god dang it i tried well i tried to okay, move it but it doesn't it doesn't matter i just screwed up the whole the whole, the feng whole shui all of the feng shui is now ruined all right we're gonna have to back up again no oh, no okay am i am yeah I the, spotted so the for these two to put that would be like what? If you wanted to go 10 feet, you have to go up 8 inches, right? That would be, I guess, close per, enough. Pretty much, yeah. It's pretty gnarly. Uh, I yeah. mean, for trains, like, uh, most railroads that are standard gauge and trying to haul, you know, miles and miles and miles of train, they try to keep it to, like, slightly over a percent, if that. There are different, definitely locations in history and in main lines in the past, like the Saluda grade on the Norfolk and Western that was like 5% in places and, and madness with that. But it's like anyone that's trying to move serious amounts of freight tries to keep it as shallow as possible because the amount, the amount that that little normal force disappears when you start going uphill in a train... Yeah. Oh, it's huge. It's ridiculous. You wouldn't think a percent would make a difference, but it really does. I mean, does. think about it this way. I'm pretty sure, like, modern-day jetliners, when they come in for a landing, they only come in at, like, 2 or 3%. They don't... I, yeah, I would like, not be surprised. It's a very, very shallow angle. Um, okay, you can back up now all the way to the beams. All the way to the beams. So, yeah, it's like, if you imagine, you know, comparing that to a train, like, it's, yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. I love the fact that industries do one at a time. That's so great. That is nice. 
our beams are already full again because we have logs in the pond. But anyway. We are saturated. Although I guess we won't be anymore. We can run more logs. The beams are weird because they sometimes load like really far. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, they drop onto a weird car that you don't expect them yeah, to. Yeah, just want to make sure you it's don't actually re-overwrite the, the lumber I just put down there. Right. And then pull it ahead again. Gah. Yeah, let's just keep, let's just keep <laughs> loading. So, meanwhile, the guy at the sawmill is like, oh my god, I'm still cutting wood for these clowns. Like, what are we doing? <laughs> yeah. Where's the wood even going? It just oh, disappears. Yeah. <laughs> just disappears. They're burning it next to the rails. <laughs> All right, I think we're good. That should load. Okay. All right. I think the switches are set as well, so we should be good to just power on through all did the way you, to the did iron Did you mine. get the, the switch set to the... Yeah, on the, the one y? over here I did. Yep. Oh, okay. Oh, you, you've already managed to appear in the Betsy. I didn't even see you get up here. I, I ran around the, the side there. I was too fast for you. You're you sneaky. Even I was putting that wood in my firebox here. I'm going to keep Betsy off for now just because I don't, like... Well, technically, if we were going to do real double heading, technically you should be doing all the work and I should be doing nothing if we if we don't I need the power. All, so. Okay, well, fine. There we go. I'll Send do it. all the work. Make Betsy tug this whole thing by herself. So if you're a real double heading, then, you'd put the more powerful engine at the very front? or uh, like Usually you'd put the smaller engine at the front, and that was more right. so, so that you didn't tug through the frame. I mean... Can you see Betsy? I mean, Montezuma wouldn't do it, but a bigger engine, I mean, you'd split it in yeah, half. Yeah, rip you know? Betsy in half. Yeah, so no, I get So you want to have the, the more powerful engine being the road engine, which is the engine closest to the car, and you're the helper engine being the engine on front. But we want to keep everything in tension the best we can, so you you technically need to work harder than I do in order so to So what keep happens if the helper way. engine can't pull the whole load on its own? Uh, well, it's then like, that, that's, when the, have... that's when the road engine comes in, too. So I'd have to have my regulator still on to keep tension between me and you, but then you would also have I would to have also a start bringing regulator. mine in. Usually, usually I would keep working somewhat, no matter what, anyways. So I'll I'll put a little bit of rag on myself, but I I tend to try and keep our coupler or our bar in this case in tension because I don't want to try and start pushing through that little spindly bar into you. We want to keep it as a two force member you know, taut right. and straight. Otherwise, uh, all sorts of shenanigans can happen and the likelihood of throwing one or both the engines off the railroad increases significantly, so. And that, that bar is pretty, like, realistic to what they would have at the time in terms of, like, helpers. The draw little... bar, that's exactly what they would have had in this era. And these ones actually have a pivot pin in them. Um, so it's really bad to have, you know, to try and shove through you. I mean, my pilot would end up hitting if I tr tried to shove harder than you could. So you really kind of have to run Betsy just absolutely balls to the wall. And then I, you know, supply as much as I can help on the backside. So what happens if you're triple heading? Same thing? Just Same thing. You just, you just got to keep it going. To... The, the lead engine's theoretically pulling everything, right? And then the, the next engines are working a little bit less hard, a little bit less hard. how do these guys, tension. like, I know with modern trains, the trains will talk to each other, like, electronically to control the throttles, right? Yep. And if you have engines in the middle of the train, they'll still talk electronically to the ones at the front to, like, control the throttles. But back in this day, well, you just hand signal, just, like, wave outside the, the window. Hand signals, or... whistle signals, and you feel it in the seat. Because, oh my god, I've, we've run a couple double headers at the museum. Uh, you can absolutely feel it if you're on the road engine and you start shoving too hard and you take the slack off the coupler ahead. You absolutely feel that. And it's it's pretty, it's not like super, super violent, but it's definitely something that you know. And you're like, okay, well, yeah, we need to back off and, and let them get ahead of it. But worst That's case, hand signals, lantern signals, etc. There was a, a funny charter that I got to ride, and it was it was sad in one respect where the engine was actually having a mechanical failure on the Cumbres and Toltec. It lost part of its valve gear on the way up the hill, and uh, I mean, the engine sounded like it was doing a jazz drum beat, and it was working its little heart out, the poor 168. I mean, it was just really doing everything it could, but they hit the grade uh, up Cumbres Pass, and it's 4 to 5% for about 15 miles. And it's uh, actually the steepest railroad pass or the tallest railroad pass in the United States that's still around. Um, and so this poor little engine is just sounding, you know, losing an exhaust beat, sounding like a jazz drummer. And the engineer leans out at the engine behind him and he just starts giving a lantern signal like, give me something, please. <laughs> and then the second engine started help shoving as they hit the hill. But it's just like, yeah, come on, help a, help a brother out. Can you hear this thing? It's trying to die. <laughs>
That's that's such like a crazy balancing act, honestly. Like it's I mean with modern day engines you could basically have I mean you wouldn't, but you could have a one man train crew run the whole thing and now it's like with this it'd be you'd have like a fireman per engine, you'd have an engineer per engine. I don't I guess you'd have one conductor for the whole train, not yes. per engine. Yeah, so I mean you your crew, you'd have two engine crew per engine, and then you'd have right. your two brakemen and conductor at minimum, right? So that's really what drove the increase in size in steam locomotives and making super powered steam locomotives was they only had so many people to work, you know, work the trains. And during World War II, that was when the biggest locomotives were built and were around was because everyone was fighting in the war darn near. So there was only so many people available to help things keep supplied. So they made the biggest engines that they possibly could so that they could use as little crew as they could. But now, yes, with diesel locomotives, I mean, you've got the, uh, the MU cable that you plug together between the locomotives. They talk to each other, you set them up the right way knowing which direction they are, and whenever you throw a control on the lead engine, it affects every single engine just the same behind it. Right, and with cars on modern, is it still one brake line tying them all, or are they independent braking on it is, cars? So most trains still have just one brake pipe all the way down. There have been some train sets in modern railroading that have been experimented with electronically controlled brakes, where there's an right. electronic cable in addition to the brake pipe, and then the electronic control valves, the engineer can set up the brakes on every single car instantaneously using the electronic controller. But where it just cuts valves off from the brake pipe pressure, basically. Like, it just cuts the pressure off. Yeah, it, it basically starts sending air to the uh, the brake cylinder from the brake pipe right away, you know, right. Uh, rather than needing to wait for the decrease in pressure to propagate all the way down the brake pipe from the lead engines. It's a really neat bit of technology, but it's like, you have to have the whole train set outfit for it. And when you've got a bunch of different manufacturers and owners of rail cars, not necessarily all the same railroad and then interchange and things, you have to really have to rely on a common system. So there's only been a yeah, couple test sense. cases of that because everyone's used to just conventional air brakes. Just running through our wonderful smelter. You can all of a sudden feel when you're no longer on the 2% <laughs> No longer down. on the hill down. Yeah. Yeah. Actually need you're to like, start oh, doing I gotta something. do some work now. Like it's uh, interesting. Oh, I'm at a fire here. Hold on. Let's yeah, make sure you got to make sure you got that fire set. If we yeah, were really we're gonna, gonna be... run these wood burners up this canyon that we built, oh, we would we would dude, we would be consuming. We'd just keep the door open and just shovel wood in. Like it would just never, it would ne never end. never ending wood. I mean, it's insane yeah. how much. The, I mean, people Etsy talk about the wood. wood. People talk about the wood like exploding and vaporizing the instant it gets in there because the draft is so strong. I actually right. recently posted a cute little short that because I couldn't believe it when I was firing the RGS-20 at the museum. You know, we're not firing it quite at tonnage. Uh, we have five passenger cars behind it and three and a half percent grade on a 28 degree curve. So it's, everything's stacked against it. But we could put a little bit Wait, more behind it. You have a 28 it. degree curve at three and a half percent. That's that that is what we start on at the museum. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> it's uh, it's the world's most hellish circle to run things on. But um it works so hard. It's not quite at tonnage, but it works so hard leaving the station that the entire fire bed was jumping six inches up off of the grates. You could watch the pieces of coal bouncing in the fire, and it was like, oh my god, I didn't realize we were working this thing that hard. It's really incredible. I need to get my fishbowl cam out to that and really fill it, film it with a real camera because it's amazing how much that worked. So yeah, wood burners, you would be just throwing wood in just constantly when we would be yeah. getting up to this 6% that we're getting up to. I like this, this, this is a cute route. I'm really excited to to see trains run on it finally. And I, I like I, the fact that this, this route you can't see from anywhere else. It's just like hidden in this valley. And even like the smelter valley is on the other side of this ridge to our right you know like we're not even we're not even close to anything else it's just kind of it's just a nice little route it is pretty it's a really neat route but that's why i want to attach the coal mine onto this route because if we yeah. were to run I'm, I'm gonna pull out my coal my map but if we were to run the coal mine down the intended valley which is like the far right valley on the map mm -hmm. then we would have to already have turned off like we'd already have to have turned yeah. off and climbed up to the show a lot of extra track delay right and i'd rather like continue this route and then just have a, a, a super ridiculous climb past the iron mine i tried doing it earlier like when i was just building the iron mine out i was trying to just like experiment with it and even at six and a half percent you can't really climb enough to clear the ridge behind the iron mine so oh it would have goodness. to be steeper than that 
just, which is the just most ridiculous. ridiculous alignment. I'm excited for it. But we have helper engines, you know? If you're already pulling up the helpers, we got that whole helper. Oh, you'll, you haven't seen the new helper zone yet. I'm oh, excited. The standing tower, the water tower, got the little shed hooked up. I put in the groundwork fill, which I'm not excited about because the old groundwork you could kind of make seamless. The new one kind of makes ridges, which isn't as, you know, uh, it, gotcha. I'm not. You'll see. I did some groundwork here as well. Actually, there's a spot here I have to fix because I was getting a thumbnail earlier and I know <laughs> it's it's broken. But I didn't want to save because, you know, I'm driving my train back. Anyway, look, see, I did the, the fill in here, you know, nice. the, on the right nice. side there. I like Let's that. Try and Make it feel a little bit more attached and feel, better. Yeah. yeah. We just need to be able to cut, you know? We need to be able to cut into mountains. You know how cool it'd be if you could just cut? That would be a lot of fun, but I think the logistics of doing that real-time in the Unreal Engine is just kind yeah, of a, tough. a bit it's, of a no-no. No. But if you could make cuts in the mountains, then you wouldn't want to put a default path that they already, you know what I mean? Like on that other valley, you just leave it here. See right here, there's this ridge coming up. Yeah, yeah. This bothers me. Don't worry, I'll fix it. I fixed it earlier, it's easy. Boom, hold on, I might be able to still get on the train. Hopefully. Uh, fixed easy nice he's back he's on up. but yeah so i just tried to fill all this in you know to make it look kind of like a mountain but you can see how the fill like bulges up right like it's yeah it's, uh, I, I can see that it's that's a little I bit of a bummer but it's not that bad stuck in the boiler. <laughs> a train, it's fine but... we're both hanging out in betsy this is uh oh you're in betsy too. i'm in What's betsy up? too How's hey hey what's up man well you know i wanted to make sure that i could get a great thumbnail of both locomotives on this beautiful trestle right now, so. Oh, yeah, figured no, it's, I would it's uh, nice little, get the it's cinematic nice little... cam going on. That's right. Yeah, I got some, some fill here, too, as well. Oh, my God, that one's broken as well. You know what? I'm going to fix that as well. We're going to pull up to the helper station there. Hold on. Maybe I can even. Okay. Do we want to stop at the helper station? Uh, I mean, we can. We oh, God. We can the bridges. Con, the bridges are ridiculous. Oh, the. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't worry about that. I can't fix this fill for some reason. Because... Oh my god, dude, this is exciting. Are yeah, you, don't, did you make it back work, on the train, or are you back there somewhere? No, I'm I'm trying to fix this fill, but it's not it's not working. It's uh, you know what? I'm just gonna delete this fill. All right, well we're gonna we're day. gonna pull up and stop at the helper station here for you. So yeah, I'll, I'll just give me give me two seconds. I'm sorry. It puts the stupid the uh, the like the vertical wall on the fill, and uh, gravity doesn't allow <laughs> terrain to do that. You know. I see. I see what you mean. And it bothers me on a. Oh, I just broke it worse. You know what? We're. I'm gonna. I'm gonna come back and fix this later. Let's not. No let's worries. Not we, we we got places to be, Con, and uh, yeah, we're not we gonna got, get there any right, anywhere fast. Uh, yeah. So the bridges. Um. The bridges are nice. Dude, it's. It's insane. This is this is everything I dreamed it was gonna be when we first talked about doing it. Yeah. Um, and so we're this probably is gonna get maybe maybe two cars if we're lucky. Oh uh, yeah, there's no way. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> so we pull in here. You've got your water on the main line, right? I don't know how you'd pump it up to here, but I guess from the river down there, you'd you'd pump it up. They would have had know. a pump house down there. Whether it was a mechanical pump or an electronic pump later, uh, it's definitely and things that they would have to do. It up push it all the way up to the tower basically yeah realistically there would probably be runoff from somewhere higher up in the mountains that they would use a stream True, or something just, to fill but um and then we've got of course our sanding a sanding house um you know this is our sort of our main line and then we've got our, our wonderful uh this hasn't really changed much in layout but our wonderful engine shed turntable combo you know it just I like it a lot of people were suggesting that we get rid of the turntable and just run engines back and forth, but I think the utility is going to be decent enough. And having the stuff on the uh, on the having the stuff on the main down screen. the hill in reverse is what you're saying. Yeah, you could. I mean, it wouldn't be ideal, and it uh, you know would make it feel less smells like Kenosha e. But you know, it's fine. Smells like Kenosha. <laughs> See, I don't like this. Look at these ridges. These ridges. Yeah, you know? I wish it was old ground wider work groundwork or something. <laughs> Yeah, or just like a fill groundwork that doesn't have the, the taper on the edges. Because this, it rounds the edge, which is nice for when there's track on it, but when you're trying to make it one big Big piece, flat area, look. yeah. Yeah, it anyway. it's turning out pretty nice, and I, God, I love this 60-foot turntable. It's so pretty. Yeah, it, well, it had to be done. I figure big edges, you know, we got to have the, the Yeah, space. we'll, we'll want to be able to turn a Class 70 here someday, so... Yeah, and it's just it, the groundwork mainly is not so much to fill in the ground. It's more so that it just gives you an easier time walking around here. Like you don't have to. You don't get stuck in a pit. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. So, um, yeah, this is uh, this is six six and a half percent. It starts. Um, uh, it starts on the other side, right? Yeah, it starts on the other side. It's flat here for the most part. It's like maybe a one or two percent climb, and then see over there on the other side where there's that brick foundation on yeah. the cliff edge. 
after that, that bridge is the first, like, you can see how that bridge is just <laughs> it's very steep. Long. Yes. Yeah. So that's how the six and a half climb starts, and it does not stop until the iron mine. There is My no... money is we stop before we get to the, uh, the stone brickwork up here above us. I bet we're, oh, I bet we're stalled out by then. Full, you want to try with the full train? Like, I do. Wanna... I do. Just for fun. Just to see. And then we'll leave it, right. you know, as far up as we can. Well, let's push back and just, like, make sure we're max speed running running at this thing. You know what I mean? Like, Sounds good. I don't know. I, I, I don't think we're getting very far. I, I don't think so either. But I'm excited to see I, what happens. I don't think we're going to even make it to the bridge to cross the track. I don't think... I think we'll stall out before that. Yeah, Lord, we might. We really we'll might. We'll stall out somewhere over the valley on the bridge. That's my thought. That, that's but. that's probably pretty accurate. All right, I'm going full forward now. I feel like we'll okay. just, you know. We'll just, <laughs> just grind just down. Just moonwalking. It's fine. You know, smaller diameter wheels give you more power. So we're, we're helping ourselves out now by grinding the wheels down. How would so how would this work in real life? If you were actually stopping a train and going from reverse to forward, you'd break it fully first before you even consider moving the Johnson bar or would uh, you... Absolutely. You want to keep the Johnson bar in full reverse as long as you can for better lubrication and even wear. Because okay. if you're limiting the travel of the valve, you're wearing just in the middle, right? You're not wearing across the full pattern. And so, so it can make your valve not work that well. Apply your brakes, wait till you're at a dead stop, then flip you the would bar flip it. over. Yeah. You, then, you could, if you had to, if you didn't have brakes for some reason, you could put the bar in forwards, slightly in forwards, give it a little steam, and that's not the end of the world, but, you know, if you, you gotta do what you gotta do. Well, this is good, we're making it, we're going. It's, it begins. Going. There are no <laughs> turns steeper than 50 meter radius, so we are, we're well into the casual railroading zone, which is why this is so ridiculous. I love uh, it. Climbing was hard because finding the actual points for bridges to be, like, supported was difficult. Like, finding smooth points. I can believe um, that, yeah. But yeah, there were no, there's no 50 meter radiuses. Everything's 50 meters or more, and nothing goes below 6.5% as of now. Come on, we're train. Actually, we're actually... We're actually moving. We're doing pretty good. I'm just waiting for it here and bog down. Oh, uh, yeah. Like you could see it, you could see it in the wheels. We are slowing. There, there it goes. Yeah. Come on, train. All right. Well, that was that was a good. Are we gonna make the bridge? We don't even. We're not even gonna make it to the bridge. Okay. Well, so that's, sand. That's about what we thought. Now, yeah. Right? Like, sand's not. Sand shouldn't do anything. I would put your brake on. Oh God! All do right. we not have enough braking power to hold this? I don't know. I'm I'm full brake. I'm full brake. Uh, yeah. Uh, I guess we don't even have enough braking power to hold this. Yeah, that uh, is okay. hilarious. How well, many, I'm gonna how I'm gonna get out and I'm gonna I'm gonna tie a brake on the the beam cars and I'm gonna try I don't know three. Should we even try three? Three is probably we not gonna try, work. We but can try three. Let's back up to where it's a little flatter though, so that we don't risk. Okay, yeah, or just do that. That's perfect. That's fine. I put one brake on it. They won't go that far. No, oh, they'll end up down at the the shed somewhere over there. That'll be fine. Yeah, <laughs> unmanned train. I mean, we can do it with three, then that means we can do, we can do, so now it should be full sand, right? Should I go full sand? Full like, sand, full, full reg, full break, full, full everything except the break. Breaks off, yeah, full sand, full reg. Come we're on, not, he can see. We're, I think we're getting it. <laughs> Come on, right, train. We're ready to drop one more car and do this four times. So yeah. I'm, I'm going to drop another car. Yep. Lumber is heavy. All right, drop that other car. Are we moving? Oh, yeah, Looks we're going. Like we, we could do two cars of lumber. Okay, that's good. That's good. Might even get three cars of beams, although it doesn't. We're gonna stuff. Maybe we could do all four cars of beams. Actually, we, we I don't remember the difference that. in weight between beams and lumber. I don't either. I this. I can't believe this is working. <laughs> I wish the sound in this game really accurately represented what would be happening right now. Because right now, doing this, these engines would be making a show, and the fact that it's just kind of going. Is okay, so how? Do, but how? Okay, so so. You w the wheels wouldn't be grinding, but you'd hear like I don't I don't understand how they'd be loud because the pistons are still moving slowly, right? Like there's not 
you'd get you're not you would be having limited valve events you get four chuffs per revolution with engines like right. this is, is this not a constant grade why are we slowing down right here because it's only like five and a half percent for a bit and then it goes up oh, to six no <laughs> the six, like this bridge is kind of an interlap between like the six and a half starts at the brick and this bridge kind of is like a climb from like the one to six. Oh god well i guess i'm gonna take off the last car all right so hopefully we can pull one car one car of lumber boys two locomotives maybe two beams maybe we'll get to maybe Dude, this two is, beams this, yeah who wanted the genuine narrow gauge experience this is this, this is, is the narrow this, gauge experience it's just the narrow gauge experience there, right there here. is a picture i've seen in history where there's five 280s hauling one car before up the hill yeah man this, this, look we're moving now we're, we're now we're do doing it, it. Oh my god. So now we can turn the sanders off, right? Mine's off already. Yeah, but. if we're if we're not slipping, you don't need the sand, so it should work. Yeah. But so you you get four four chuffs per evolution, but they would be very big chuffs with with your bar all the way forward with the throttle wide open. I mean that's as hard as the engine's gonna work. So I mean you'd be you're basically sending boiler pressure into the pistons for eighty five percent of the stroke at that point. So it would be just ridiculously just loud. Really loud. Yeah. And like I guess the blow off out of the pistons would be huge. Like yes. The amount of, yeah. The amount of steam coming out because of the because when you when you when you have the bar so far forward, the Johnson bar really limits the travel of the valve, which is above the piston, and it that sets how much your steam expands in the piston, right? So if your valve, your Johnson bar reverser is closer to center, it's limiting how much steam is getting sent to the piston, and so as the piston moves, it'll expand more if the bar is closer to center, but if you're giving it everything, you're just giving it the full volume of steam, full pressure of steam for as long as you physically can, which means that it only expands once it exhausts, which means you get a huge dump of steam and a huge exhaust beat out of the locomotive. And it's it's a religious experience when you got an engine working that hard. It is absolutely awesome. Dude, we are, we are narrow gauging. We are narrow gauging the heck out of this right now. <laughs> This Two is, locomotives this is for one car. Oh my god, I can't. We're only gonna make like twelve dollars on this car too yep. after all this. Yeah, I'm gonna. We're gonna need to back down all the way after that. Like, I might get one more run with Betsy, and then I'm gonna run out of water. My boiler is actually going down now, so <laughs> we're gonna have to go back to the water tank. So, yeah, oh, like, we got a water tank on the line, but we might have to push all that back. The good news is, with the way the iron mine's set up, we leave the empty up top. And we'll reassemble the whole train at the top when okay, we're done. That's smart. And then bring them all down as one big, one big mess. Because that won't Look matter. This. Coming down is we'll just tie some This alignment is ridiculous. I love it. <laughs> Dude, we're, oh yeah, there is one flat section here. I lied. This is flat. Okay, this is flat up here. Okay. Yeah, you for, get a, yeah, a like brief a respite. There's like a little plateau up here, like a little a little plateau in the valley, which I thought was really cool, but. Really, the hardest part with laying out this route was maintaining the 50 meter radiuses. And I realized, like, now, after my last save, I never had 30 degree turns. Like, everything was so steep compared to... Right. Yeah, 50 meter turn, I mean, that's, that's keeping it relatively high speed. We should be able to run everything at full speed pretty much around that, as far as the speed limit in the game's concerned, so should be yeah. pretty fun. We picked up some speed again. This is good. Yeah, the flat was nice so that we weren't going to sit there and crawl up the hill for the rest of the time. Hopefully it won't yeah, bog actually, too bad when we go up for again. For the but... other cars, if we bring smaller loads, we should be able to just hammer it at full speed and get into it, and then we'll be a lot quicker. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, that's the hope. This is, uh, I think, my favorite bridge out of the whole group. I call this the Lookout Point Bridge. Lookout um, Point Bridge. I like it. I mean, it's just kind of... It's incredibly tall. Got a huge arc at the end, and it's you can ridiculous. like look at that. You can look at there's all our our, our logs and stuff down there. <laughs> like yeah, there there they are. <laughs> the engine gen stuff. It's great. Yep. Yeah. The tr it's so far away that the track's not rendering on my end. The ties aren't. Yeah, rendering. <laughs> I have a bit of track that renders. The groundwork still does though, which is interesting. But oh my goodness. Yeah, this is a ridiculous alignment. This is everything I'd hoped it'd be. Dude, this is great. This is like the worst one. That's why the, the iron mine and the coal mine have to share this route. You know, it's just got to be. We need to celebrate this ridiculousness. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and like running like a 40 car train up this with five helper engines, you know? Like, just I feel like every locomotive. That, yeah. Yeah. That's going to like hook every locomotive up in the game to one train and see how many cars we can pull up this hill. You know, it's going to be great. I like the sound of that. 
It's not that ridiculous. It's only six and a half percent. It's fine. It's fine. The Uinta would approve. <laughs> All right, so here we flat out. This is kind of Oh, kind yeah, of we're nice. coming up to it. I can see it up ahead. Yeah, so I extended this out really straight. Just we have lots of space to reassemble trains, that sort of thing. Um, this switch on the right here with the stopper, that's where I feel like we could go to the coal mine, start climbing up, and then loop over. Gotcha, you know I mean? gotcha. Uh, but we come in straight here, which is good. And then we've got these two large curved bypass lanes. So you'll notice we're going to come... We've got some shunt lanes here just for, you know, storing stuff, whatever. Okay, I see what's going on here. This is cool. Yeah, but we can come in here and we'll bypass over, and then there's a turntable there as well, in case we need to flip something around. We've got some space for that. Okay. We, we can unhitch this pretty much here then. Yeah, we'll uh, need to grab it, and then, you know, we're gonna run around it, yeah. Yeah, so we just, I'll just put the brakes on it. Yeah, and then you just keep pushing forward, and then we flip this back and run around the bypass, and boom, done. Back and now we, and now we do it uh, eight more times, right? Seven eight more times? times? We might be able to get the beams in two. We might do two beams in one, you know? You know, we, we might. We might get lucky. I don't remember the weight differences between them. I don't either, but, you know, maybe we'll get lucky. Who knows? And then there we go. For the next cars, we should probably, when we're on that big straight part, we should kick them. Or, or uh, when we're on the big straight coming in, we, we could Dutch drop them. What, what, what's that? That is the that is the silly term for uh, you unhook the cars from behind the engines and keep the engines running fast, put the brakes on the cars, and throw the switch in between the engine and the cars. Oh, and then have the car have the cars sail into it. the platform without us pushing oh, that's, it. Yeah, we should do that. That's that that seems safe. And well, you know, it's uh, fine. It's old oh, we school. Can go, we can go down now. Just keep keep backing all the way up. Oh, you oh you want to just go? Okay, I see what you're saying. We'll we'll switch. Yeah, I mean, we might as well go down in reverse, right? Are we uh, we don't have to turn around and then turn around again each time. That's that's, I mean, I thought we were, were gonna unload the one life, beam. Or the one if you were doing this in real life, they would spend the time to turn the engine around, right? Like, they would turn it around and not go down in reverse, or would they really Probably. care? Probably. I don't know exactly what Montezuma had set up. Betsy, it wouldn't matter so much, but with Montezuma, a lot of engines don't like to track that well in reverse. Right. Um, but they may not necessarily have a sprung-loaded buffer between the engine and tender. I've ridden on some engines where as you go in reverse, the tender just bangs into the engine over and over and over as it hunts down the track, and it's really, really, really annoying. <laughs> oh my god. I'm on full brake right now. I'm just it letting is, it happen. It is sketchy looking. It is we a little are, sketchy looking. You should be the client. Yeah. Be oh Betsy's my. wheels have just turned into a motion blur mess. I can't even yeah, see no, them. That's, that's, for me, yeah, Betsy's wheels look like Sonic the Hedgehog. Like they it's, really do. It, it's really ridiculous. We are all in the mail, man. Oh. We got places to be, man. We got to do okay, this seven more times. He's going down as fast, I guess. That's fine. All the curves are 50 meter radius. We shouldn't die, right? Maybe? I, yeah, I'm still at full brake. Imagine I wasn't. I'm going to turn off the brake here for this. Just, just live a little, Con. Come on. <laughs> well, I'll turn off the brake for this because it's flat. Oh, <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I lived. I lived too much. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, uh, well, uh, well, I'll, I'll meet you down at the bottom there, friendo. <laughs> I, would, I would like to point out that I should not be peeing in a cup for that because I was given poor instruction by you the... Poor in the... Wait, no, 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 no. You elected to take the break off, okay? You'll note that I did not go off. Oh, live a little, end quote, heist 2022. <laughs> and then I died, so it's obviously... Fine. It's fine. This is scary. This is scary fast. I wish I had a speedo. I want to know how fast I'm going down this railroad right now. Where are you? Even? Are I am at the bridge by the oh shed. Oh my god, dude, you gotta slow down. You're gonna smoke the lumber car. Oh lord, that's right. Montezuma has no brakes. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, it's fine. Oh, are you okay? I'm fine. It's good? fine. It's fine. I it's fine. I, I didn't really fine. collide on my end because I don't think the game understood what to do, but... Okay, well, hook up to that one, and we'll drag it back up. Boing. Oh, I derailed again. Did you oh. really? I yeah, yeah. I binned it hard Bunk. somehow. I had brakes on too. Wow. Where did you Where did you bend? Uh, over over that one. I'm probably responsible for that one. Might be. Might okay, be. we can we can even out the pee cup counter then. Yeah, uh, that one. That one. Hey, uh, good news is that Montezuma can start one lumber car by itself on this part of the grade. Well, that's good. So that's fun. I kind of fell out of my porter, and it's also going down the track the wrong direction. Um. So. Oh, there we go. I fixed it. Never mind. We're good. So I should be worried, or is no, it no, fine? No, no, we're good. We're good. I, 
I like the fact that when you grab something on the rerail tool now, it just stays on the rerail tool until you. That clear is it. helpful, yeah. Yeah, so you don't lose stuff down the mountains anymore. Okay, Basically. I've now got my uh, my bar into joust mode, so. Okay, perfect. I will back up my hole into your bar. Perfect, and then and then we'll we'll just do the thing. Just make the hitch. Ah, perfect. Okay, okay, come on, come on, come on. Uh, is it gonna? Okay, excellent. There we go. We're hitched. Go, uh, send. Full speed. full speed. Sand. Sand. Using some sand. Got some sand. We got places to be, man. All right, we're good. All right, so how strong would one of these pull bars be? Would it actually be enough to pull like the whole engine on the strength of one of those, or would you just pull it in half? Like, I mean, it... you could break it. <laughs> they, they, there's I'm definitely wondering... stories of them breaking in history, so. Like the structural, like Betsy wouldn't be strong enough to break it. Is basically probably what it probably down. not because Betsy is just the cutest little thing that there ever was, but. Right. So that's really what it comes down to. It's it's the strength of the engine pulling on it is gonna be whether or not it'll break. Yeah, and, and the resistance of the engine behind it. You know, if, if I'm not working and we've got a powerful engine ahead of me that was working super, super hard, or, you know, realistically changes in slack is what would break it. Like if you right. take up the throttle as the lead engine too hard, too fast, that's really what's gonna break it more so than the, the raw power output or anything. Uh, Cause once you're in steady state, it kind of just works okay anyways. But yeah, definitely one of those little things. I love the view from out here. This is so cool. Really I'm, I'm driving in first person now where I can just like, I'm looking out Betsy's windows down at the, the stuff. I'm riding on the steam chest, cause why not? I was staring How at crosshead guys. How hot does the outside of a steam engine get? Like that boiler, it's hot, right? It's like, actually outside. surprisingly not that bad. Um, we actually temp it guns. Would, it would burn your bare hand if you touch it? Uh, it wouldn't, no, because the wow. insulation and the jacketing. So um, typically, depending on exactly what it is, uh, the engines have somewhere between an inch to two inches of insulation. Back in the day, it was all asbestos. Well, actually, in this era, it was probably all wood. But once they came up with asbestos in the early 1900s, then it would be asbestos. And these days we use a calcium silicate block, which is basically just compressed chalk, pretty much. Um, right. And then the jacket's on the outside of that, and the jacket's decently heavy steel, just to make it look pretty and, and hide a, you know all of that mess and everything. But uh, we temp gunned it, and last, uh, last night on the, the RJS-20... We had uh, the, the boiler barrel itself, the bare steel was at like 350 degrees Fahrenheit, which is, I mean, that's the temperature of the steam in the water, and that makes sense. But the jacket was only like 125 or 130. So it, you know, it wouldn't burn you right away if you were to touch it with your bare hand, but you probably wouldn't want to keep your hand on it for too terribly long. But how hot, you're, you're coal firing these things, so the fire's at like, what, 1,100, 1,000 degrees or something? No, nah, so the, the free combustion of bituminous coal in the firebox is 1,800 degrees Fahrenheit without forced draft. So right. 1,800 minimum if you've got the coal fire in it. And then when the engine's working, I mean, it's 2,500 to 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. I mean, it's kind oh, of insane. Great. Yeah. You must feel that on your face then when you, like, open the, the hatch. Absolutely. The when you open the fire door, I mean, like, it's that must, that insane. Must be hot. Yeah. Yeah. It was, I mean, it, it was enough that when I tried to film the inside of the firebox for the first time with my GoPros, it filmed for 20 seconds before it overheated when I had it a foot away from the fire door. Shut it off. Yeah, yeah, it auto shut off at, you know, like 100 to 10 degrees or something to protect itself. So that was why I, I put it in a little fish tank and then it was water cooled and it was fine. But <laughs> ridiculous. Yeah, that was a good bit of fun. But I mean, it was hard for you with could, the fish you tank. Could theoretically, then sink a GoPro into the bottom of a boiler, and it wouldn't overheat if it stayed under the water. Well, no, the water in the boiler well, is the is still. at 400 degrees, right, or 350 degrees oh, it's Fahrenheit. Under pressure, so yeah, it doesn't expand. it's not actually, you know, it's not at boiling point technically because of thermodynamics and the yeah, two phase and, the and a boiler. Yeah, it's called a PT curve, by the way. Look it up. Pressure temperature curve. There Every you material go. has one. Yep. I passed thermodynamics once. <laughs> I, I did too. I barely. Uh, they curved the heck out of that class. 
So when I oh, took no, it, I, but... I passed the remote with like flying colors. You know what I struggled with was electrical engineering because electricians are just like magicians. They're wizards. They're they like magic they magicians. like imaginary numbers. There's something wrong with them. And it doesn't make them. any sense. And yeah, I barely passed electrical uh, electricity. Electricity. I can't even pronounce words. It's, words are hard. Bad. Yeah. Okay. But so yeah, we're... the. Uh, Thermodynamics, I loved thermo, it was so cool. Thermo was, was neat, it was really neat for me, because it was like, you learn about thermo and the, and the increases in efficiency, and it's like, this is just steam engines. They figured this out with steam engines. How did, Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. Know. Okay, right, so pull uh, the pin and, and set the brake, get get in the engines and run them, run them ahead. Uh, okay. Brakes well, off, brakes off, it was well, delayed. Uh, we It probably, it's a little slow. It doesn't matter, I'm out running the engines, they're fine. It's okay. This is just gonna go. This is just gonna roll. It's doing. It's doing the slow ride. It's flat here, right? Is it? Is it that sloped down towards? Is it a little bit? We, we should have pulled the pin later. It's fine. It's fine. Should have. We might have to come back and get it. <laughs> Did you leave the reg on? No. You sure? Pretty sure. Okay. Well, maybe the engines are slowing down. We we have some runaway engines. We're we're doing good. It's fine. Good we're railroading today. We're we're railroading. This episode is uh, going to be a long one, but it's actually one of my most enjoyable episodes so far. <laughs> this is very fun. Yeah, it's so uh, it's so stupid because it's like having to do a hill five times or whatever is just is dumb. Yeah, we're gonna need I, we're gonna need I a bigger choo choo. <laughs> yeah, we need we need many bigger choo choos. We I want that engine shed to have like three choo choos in it, you know, Stuff ready to full. go. Yeah, yeah. All right, I've got the brake tied on this because it was about to stop before the switch. Yeah, and that's, we'll, we'll uh, just drag it through that, and yeah. That straight piece is still down at like one percent, just to gotcha. Because it, it has to be because we go down like fifty seven <laughs> freaking meters for some reason. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm in I'm in the Zuma, so I can drag you forward and then you can cut out right away before yeah we'll, we'll see if we can do that Just you've got you've got go the link back. on your I'll end go back further just so you'll have more of a more of a time to do it okay dunk all right i'm pinned in break right, off good. go for it i'm gonna go backwards just a little bit further here we will perfect this shenanigan yeah because we're gonna need well, a i mean speed. when we have a bigger train we'll be pulling in once and like with bigger helpers you know right. we'll pull it once unload the whole train turn the engines around and then we still haven't even unloaded yet we're we're we have a process ahead of us <laughs> we really do okay this is great man this is this is what your the badge this is your job for the day on the narrow gauge you're like oh we need you to bring these 12 cars up to the lumber <laughs> What's or, your, or up the yard what did you what did you do today well i ran the same train over the same railroad 12 times yeah yeah that's your man it's narrow gauging we're we're narrow gauging all right up, you know? we have dutch dropped the 207 it's rolling into the siding so start back oh you're putting it on that one Perfect. yeah so, just dutch you might as well send it to the unload track right yeah true although we have to unload the beams further but that's fine we'll, oh, we'll it it's, it's it's fine but we'll probably have to do some switching <laughs> this yeah, is this is the folly fun. of actual switching and actual operations when you're not just running through loops it's like okay wait who who unloads yeah, what where FD. why how now no wait now we need to move these train cars and do this and, uh, yeah it's a whole thing dude I I love it though it's so it's, it's a lot of fun it makes the logistics it's a puzzle it's not just a drive yeah. train through through yard loop simulator 1895 all right there we go that one's out we're up to 752 dollars we are Woo! loaded I think it's 72 dollars a car for those so eight times 72 uh, we're still going to be very far away from getting another locomotive. That's okay. We'll run some trains back at just the freight depot area and make make boatloads of money that way. I feel like this is not the money making route yet. Not not yet. It's not until we've got some serious power. Yeah. Yeah. And even coming up here, we're gonna be drink bringing empty hoppers up. Thank God we don't have to bring hoppers down. Yeah. That loaded would be loaded nightmare. hoppers up would be pain. Oh yeah. Like, but loaded hoppers down is still gonna be a very scary experience. <laughs> it's gonna be very fast. It's gonna need some brakes on that train. Yep. Yeah, it's gonna need some serious brake men to to run that. Especially if we have like you know five or six hoppers or something. Oh boy, running. Uh, yeah, that'll be that'll be tough. Yeah, this can be. I'm a full spicy. braking at this time. I'm not letting off. I don't. Okay, care that's probably say. probably the wise choice. You know. Yeah, I'm it's not just, the fun like... choice, but it's the wise choice. So. Yeah, I don't even. As the senior like YouTuber the in the room, you know, be... we'll we'll give you the we'll give you those points. The wisdom I points. feel like the brake shoes would be melting off Betsy. That's well, so th that's actually a, a real problem that they ran into on hills like this, and the friction brakes were actually not enough. 
And so you'd end up with engines with water breaks that took steam from the water space, the boiler, through a small pipe and let that expand in the engine to slow down because the friction from the brakes, they would heat the shoes up a bunch and wear the shoes down a bunch, which is a problem. But the steam engines have tires like we talked about, and they could heat the tires up enough for the tire to fall off. And that's happened in history. So wait, you're, when you take cold water, you're saying put cold water into the piston just to act as a resistance. Well, so it's not cold water. It's water from the boiler, right? So it's taking boiler water from the water space, not the steam space. And so it expands a bunch into, and it flashes into steam as soon as it gets into the piston because it's no longer under that same pressure when it's coming from the small pipe, right? But so, it's on the wrong end of the cycle. But it's so on it's the wrong fighting. end of the cycle. Well, it's either on the wrong end of the cycle, which is one way that they plumbed them up sometimes, so you could leave the bar in reverse in this case, and it would work. Um, but other railroads set it up so that you'd have to put the reverser or the Johnson bar in the opposite direction to use it. So you would literally throw it in forward and then just, like, hammer steam into the pistons. Exactly, yeah. And then that would just be a, a natural resistance that would slow it down and not using friction, so you weren't, you know, ruining tires but it or wouldn't, derailing. But it wouldn't... How would they, so like in this, if I go full reverse or forward, it starts spinning my wheels forward and I'm basically doing like a moonwalking, you know? Well, that's but, because Railroads Online doesn't have proper simulation of how the wheels interact with the track yet. So, you know, that's fine. Right, so the, the friction of the wheels would keep them spinning backwards. Yeah, absolutely. Though. The friction, the momentum, I mean, if, if it's not enough steam, uh, you know, to actually apply power. It's just a resistance. The water break would be plumbed through something like a three quarter or one inch diameter pipe. So right. it's nowhere near the, you know, the massive dry pipe amount of steam sent to the engine for real. That's so interesting. All right, do you have a bar? Do you have a do you have a pin? Yeah, I do. do. Yeah. All right. Do, do we get spicy and do we try? Yeah, I'm saying let's try a beam one with it, like one beam, beam one. and lumber. Yeah. I feel like I feel like we're lower weight. We might need to push back a little bit and just maintain as much of a run up as we can. Okay, we're hooked in if here. If we climb our way up to that first plateau, then I think we'll be good. You know. Okay, that's pinned in. That's pinned. And that's unpinned now. And I've got a break okay. on this one. We could shove through it if need to. Yeah, just um, push it back a little bit and then I'll, I'll tie it when we get closer. Okay. There we okay. go. Yep. All right, so the brake's off on the two cars. Can we I do two know. cars? I don't, I, I I don't it, remember the weights we'll of everything. If, if, there Wasn't there a way to check? Can there I was this, like, it? you could hover over the load. Oh, 9,325 pounds. Okay. For, for beams. And then lumber is 17,000 pounds. Oh my wow, goodness, double so it's the double weight. the weight. Okay, so we could definitely do two beam cars at least. But can yeah. we do a beam and a lumber car? Yeah, right, it's I've just, kicked, I've just under you. double the weight, actually, is what it is. All right. 17,000 versus 9,000. That's crazy. That is, that's heavy. All right. Boss said to only take one car at a time, but you know we we're we're, we're we're pushing the envelope here, friends. We're lazy and we want to get the job done, you know. So it's yeah, the best kind of railroader is a lazy railroader. That's that's a saying in the industry. They they want you to ride everywhere rather than walk, because when you walk around the ballast and the ties and everything, it's easy to slip, trip, or fall. So they, there's a saying in safety that is a good railroader is a lazy railroader, which is a silly thing. But well, we're moving. And we're getting on the steep bit. We're, we are running kind of quick this time, which is nice. We are slowing yeah, we down, though. Speed. We are, but if we can make it to that flat part, I think we'll be okay. I don't know. Ugh. That's spicy. Keep your pin. <laughs> just, just give it everything. Come on, Zuma! Zuma! Oh, no. It might not. It might not. Come on! Come on! If we whistle, it'll give us more speed. It helps. The whistle helps! Oh, come on! Yo, you engine! Pull! Pull, you piece of garbage! Go! Come on! <laughs> There's no way. Well, we're at walking There's... speed now. We haven't stopped yet. Yeah, does that... But doesn't that mean we're eventually gonna we, stop? We are, we are going to stop. We're not gonna make yeah, it. Yeah, We're doomed. That, we're not gonna make that, it. All right. That's all she wrote. All Brakes right, on. Let's... I'm gonna tie the, the beam car, and, you know, we'll just leave it here, I guess. Yeah, I mean, we'll be able to push back and pick up two of them, and then do the beams in groups of two yep. in that last electric car, so we'll be... Oh, boy. What a, what a mission this has been. <laughs> this is a bit... 
that we, we did this to ourselves. You know, there were a lot of a lot of intelligent people saying, hey, you guys should have started at like a 2% from the smelter to make it up to the iron mine. But you know what? This is more fun. Yeah, that's lame, okay? though. This is, this is the I, cool way to do it. This is the unique experience, all right? We wanted to have the small road, mount, or small uh, small gauge, you know, three foot gauge mountain railing experience. We're doing the Uinta Railway thing. So when they eventually give us the Uinta Railway Mali, we're gonna we're gonna have fun with that boy on this alignment. We, we should name it Mor Moron's Castle in the Uinta's honor. <laughs> Dude, this is actually ridiculous. It's it's cool to have a helper engine shed though. I feel like that's a really cool use to actually like for sheds in this game. You know? Yeah, it's actually really neat, and it, it'll be nice. We got to keep the engine staged there, so we're gonna need this some big choo choos. So, so incredibly dumb. <laughs> it really is. How fast are we going? Not. <laughs> yeah. No. We need, we need a, we need, this is like having a purpose for a Heisler though. Maybe, you know, like a Heisler yeah, climax. Yeah, that's, that's what people have been saying. Like get a couple of climaxes, get a couple of Heislers and just pull everything. Pull the entire yeah, I mean, world up this hill. If we put two climaxes, I mean, we're pulling millions of pounds up the hill. It's, it's going to be slow, but it'll, it'll pull it. That's, so. that is the point of the geared engines. That is the whole thing. What, so I've been talking about the Uinta Railway and their ridiculousness because they did stuff like this. They actually did stuff like this. They had a curve on part of their alignment called Moro's Castle. And Moro Castle had a 6% grade and 66 degree curves that they ran those oh articulated engines around. The railroad that was so bad, yeah. they tried to use shays to start. But the shays going around those sharp curves, the U-joints and the drive shafts couldn't make the, the curve. The, sh the drive Crazy. shafts would fall apart. So they would take the shay as far as they could, then they, then they would double, triple, quadruple the hill with small little engines like these until they got the articulated engines that they ended up just use, do, doing over the hill anyways. And it's the articulated insanity. engines, they're like, what, a 4-4 type thing? They're a 2662. A 2662, okay. But they articulate between the sixes. They do, yeah. So the front engine pivots a bunch. And those Uinta ones... They were insane because they had to go around that 66 degree curve. So they ordered but how one. Do they, so hold on a second. How do they? How do they make? Like it's one boiler for both sixes. It is. And it's just the boiler like doesn't a, swivel. Just the engine does underneath it. And so there's a lot of great memes. Like I heard you talking smack, boy, of the engine pointing down the curve, but the boiler staring you straight in the face with those locomotives because they pivoted so far. It's insane. So the whole like cab would be, like the cab and the boiler would stay stationary no matter what the, the exactly. bottom trucks. And then be. and then the, the lead engine would swivel out from underneath it. Imagine that like with the Montezuma with the the lead truck that swings around the track. Just imagine that's another engine and the boiler sticks out ahead of it further. Yeah, that's ridiculous. It's, it's insane. So th they bought one engine from Baldwin. They said, hey, make us a locomotive to this specification. It showed up. They modded the heck out of it to make it do what they wanted it to do. And then they sent the list of mods back to Baldwin and said, build us another one, but do it this way this time. Like, you didn't make it insane enough for us, you Pennsylvanians. Give us the crazy choo-choo we need. <laughs> Pennsylvania is pretty flat too. Like, why are they? Why are they doing these crazy curves? They're <laughs> they not were, that many they were probably like, what in the hell are these Coloradans smoking? Like, why are they doing this? <laughs> it's it's slow going. I'm excited to actually pull two cars when we get the beams going. Yeah, I mean, the cool thing about this track is once we get some significant helper engines, like you know an 060 or uh, you know even bigger than that, the Heisler and the gear trains. Pulling like 30, 40 cars up this is going to be awesome. It's going to so be cool. insane. Yeah. It should just be an easy thing. All right, I'm going to jump I'm on unpinned. the car. Oh, you're on pin. Okay, good. Okay, I got the. We're going forward. I got the switch. Oh, you got to leave the reg on, on the engines, Boing. though. Uh, but Con! 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 There were mistakes that were made. Sir? Um, sir? 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 You, you have blown up Betsy. You have killed Betsy. Um, you killed the Montezuma. I forgot to leave the reg on, and then... And then the, you just, you the, threw the switch underneath the... the, the here's your cup. Here is your cup, sir. <laughs> that, was, that was a bit of a mess, wasn't it? Uh, um, smidge, yeah. And you can't even yeah. blame me for this one. I, I, no, I, and we can't even... We still have to pull the, the train car forward, so... Uh, and yeah, I, the, the Zuma is, is dead. It, it, right, it cannot well, move itself. So. All right, well, let's... Let's, we'll, let's do, we'll, do some light re-railing here, thanks to Khan. It's fine, don't worry about it. Imagine re-railing costs money, this would be a... That would be a travesty, trip. yeah. Yeah, this would be a not a profitable... I think you have to go forward more. 
Oh, oh no. Oh, it, oh, uh, yeah, oh. it doesn't want to rerail on the switch. It's okay. Well, weird. like I can, I will pull ahead then. It's trying to like rerail on both, and it. Yeah, that was that. That was that ah! might have been my. Uh, oh, you're <laughs> it re it rerailed me on the straight part of that curve, and so we're we're just averaging out what the what the thing is. It's fine. All right. Well, hold on. I can flip this. There we go. Just come here. No, other way. Same time now. Perfect. All right, here. I'm gonna grab you, and I'll just throw you in front of your tender. Oh, then... okay, that works. Don't worry about it. This is this was all uh, an experiment to <laughs> teleporting train. I'm over here now. Yeah. No, and poof! Now I'm over here. Ah! But I'm oh, facing the wrong way. Okay, so your tender holds all your water, right? While I have you completely disconnected. Yes. Here. Uh, if your tender is not connected, yes, you you can only run until the water in your boiler's out. Like that's you guys to get whatever boiler water you have. Or... Yeah, you can't add, you can't put more water in the boiler. So it's that's a very dangerous place to be because if the water level gets low enough, you go kaboom. So you know. Right. All right. You want to grab that car? I'll grab. But I think Betsy's rag is somehow tied, and it's just, it's just going for a stroll. It's fine. She'll hit. She'll find the bumping post. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, the, the buffer. Isn't tied. The thing it's that I didn't know old. that I really needed in this game for how I play it. <laughs> Dude, it's actually awesome. I'm, I'm a big fan of it. Putting it at the end of every like shunt line and stuff, it just gives you that guarantee that even if your cars are rolling slightly, they're not going to just roll right off the track. Yeah, even if I am just as stupid as I possibly can be, this will probably be okay. All right, let's try this again, shall we? Yep. Okay. All right, so you're going to hammer the, the Montezuma at full speed. Yep. Okay, and then you got that pin, unpin it. And then, bye bye. And then you break. Boing. And then I flick this. That's, well, okay, it almost worked. <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you know what? We're just gonna, we're just gonna, we're just gonna, we're just gonna do this the old fashioned way. Dunk. Look, I made a train. Look at all this wood that I can burn now. Hold on. I'm just gonna put your tender over here. Oh, oh, oh I should probably put this brake on. <laughs> uh, oh boy, we filled up a lot of cups today, boy. <laughs> We're gonna need more cups. <laughs> uh, Do with me what you will, sir, or the tender, or something. All right, all right. Um, yeah, let me throw the tender on behind you. Whoops. Whoa. Dunk. Oh, Jesus. All right, grab that car and just pull it forward. I'm going to save real quick. That's, That's probably a good idea. Yeah, grab that and just drag it forward. Dunk. That's Jesus. fine. It's fine. Meanwhile, in real life, you're completely destroying all the couplers on every... <laughs> the equipment is destroyed. Yeah. The, uh, the recommended speed for coupling is four miles an hour or less, and we haven't really been respecting that at all, so it's fine. I feel like you just, like you would just bend cars, you know? Like cars would just- <laughs> Just absolutely destroy them. Yeah, okay, where do we want to put this thing? All right, just, just, uh, yeah, just go there. That's, that's fine. We'll, um. You could, you could run behind me with the Betsy, grab it, and then stab it on top true. of- and then, and then pull it on top of the, stack yeah. it on the other one. Where is Betsy? Right here. Oh, she hadn't spawned on my end. <laughs> it's just like, where did that engine go? I should grab both, actually, and just stack them. Oh, yeah, we could, we could do that, too. Just unload, uh, like, stack them with the empties, unload them, and then... Yeah, we've, we've got a, a pin and a link in this one, by and the we way. pull all the empties down and put them on one of these shunt lanes for a bit. Yeah, we've we got to do some switching. got to do the real thing. going to just grab this. Is there a pin there? You're good? It yeah. is, yep. Dunk. Dunk. Oh, you no! You dunked too hard, Con! I too hard! <laughs> oh, wait, no, no, we're... Oh, yeah, you're, yeah. you're now off-roading. It's fine. Ah, dunk! Can you do me a favor and throw me on the track and hand me a cup? <laughs> could, could you, could, could you please, sir? Could you put me back on my wheels? Like Jeremy Thank Clarkson you. in the Reliant Robin episode of Top Gear. All right, perfect. Flipping Betsy over. <laughs> okay. All right. You're knuckled so, in. The brake's off. Let's, uh, let's go get the other one. Let me some switches. Let's grab that other plank car, unload them both, because we should have done that initially anyway. That would have yeah, made, made more sense. Or something. Would have made more sense. Ah, stop. That'll do. Stop. Stop. Come on. Okay. Yeah, I forgot Betsy doesn't really stop so well. <laughs> Brakes? What are those? 
Okay. Yeah. Well, you're lined the, in to the other car here. Pretty sure I burned Betsy's brakes off going down the mountain the last couple times. Probably. So. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we need brake shoes at the helper station. Yeah. Train, <laughs> Lots train of brake yeah, shoes. Dude, this is great. This is this is so much extra effort just to unload right? a few cars. It's <laughs> we, so much, we did this to so ourselves. Boom. Dude, it's All right. 100% worth it. Got to get that authentic train experience. Hey, no. Con, go ahead and bring them back. <laughs> to use perfect radio etiquette. I gotta do three, right? Three is backwards, yep. Three shorts, to be precise. Although, while well, running, it means stop at the next station. Okay, well, now you're just confusing me. Oh, well, you know. We'll, we'll learn you one of these days. Ah! I've been run over. Alright, throw me onto that unload area. We'll unload them, grab all three, and then stick them on one of the shunt lanes. Yeah, yep. exactly. I like it. I like it. I'd make the most sense. What a mission this has been. I'm, <laughs> I'm like... This is ridiculous. <laughs> it's so great, though. Like, honestly, like, I love I love laying track. Like, laying track is cool and all, but, like, running the track is obviously just such a fun experience. And running track when it's more, like, purpose-built rather than having to just loops, it just it adds that extra layer, you know, of, like, you it gotta really solve does. the puzzle. You don't have to, but it, it really adds a fun layer of, you know, gameplay that's not really there otherwise. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. We could easily just, you know, re-rail everything and call it a day, but that's... That's not fun. That's not in the spirit of playing the game. It's not in the spirit of small railroad. Yeah. Five more Three cars to the hook, Con. Uh, where are you? Jesus, take the wheel. Three, um, three more cars to the hook. Jesus, take the wheel. Two, um, two one. That'll and five do. mile Bang! an hour is the limit, right? Five mile so, an hour is the Well, four, lighting. but yeah, that's fine. Is <laughs> it going to get it? Uh, I think so. Oh, yeah, you managed to do that. Perfect. This one's going to stop. Excellent. Okay, there's no Lincoln pin in this one, so you're gonna have to back up a smidge, and I gotta put a link in it. I thought it had a link in it, and it didn't. It just had a pin. Oh my god, this guy! I know, this newbie oh, brakeman over here. I still have all of my fingers. Here I am doing the perfect unload. Meanwhile, it's perfect. Okay, that'll you know, do. That's good. That's good. John you're Railroad's good. in you're over good. there. Freaking can't even <laughs> can't. pin it. It's just doing it, man. Okay, bring it. Yep. Okay, and uh, that's a dunk. Okay, now take him back. All right, got you. You're going to switch me over to one of these shunt lanes? Yep. We are making trains. Yeah, you can tell John Railroadson, despite the white hair, he's a he's a newbie brakeman because he still has all his fingers. Lincoln Pin <laughs> was ridiculously dangerous, and that was literally a way to tell, oh, new, no, you have all your fingers still. Like, almost everyone had lost at least one finger working on the railroad back in that day. Okay, Con, brakeman protecting point. Bring him ahead towards the end of track into shunt lane number one start with 15 I, dude, I over. want signs to label shunt lanes you right? have no idea I want like I want to so be bad. able to label switches like that's my biggest thing is labeling a switch and being like a B with the two arrows you know like that's I'm so excited for that that's yep. the only reason I want signs is to label all, right. all the shunt Tie lanes. to break a little bit I'm just gonna kick them oh go for it okay yep See ya. Yep. Go go get back with the Montezuma. Uh, yeah. I gotta be in front of the Montezuma. Oh, I guess I can just run behind you then. Yeah, unless we want to pull because we don't want to race pull you to the Betsy. switch. I'll 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 definitely you, you, you would there, you would but... definitely win. <laughs> there, we can do a live hitch. We'll just hitch while we're driving. It'll be fine. Is your bar up? Yep. It's down on my screen. Bar? Your pull bar. Oh no, it's not. That bar. Don't worry, I'll get it. I'll get ah! it. You're good. No! No! I, no! I could have told you that was not going to work out. Uh, oh, well, boy. Well, 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 well. I'm running to catch it, man. It's you better fine. get on Betsy. Hurry up. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to go down here. I'm going to pray oh, that it true, makes true. it. I'm going to I'm going to head it off at the pass. True. Yeah, head it off at the pass. I'm going to I'm going to well, chase head it. Head them off at the pass. I you need that you have, cliche. Do you have rag on? on yeah, that? It, oh, it's wide open. It's just oh, absolutely oh, wide open. It's, it's I can't catch it. There's no way. Yeah, it's. Uh, we'll we'll see if it makes it to me. Dude, you ever <laughs> seen the movie Unstoppable? It's... I I have. It's pain. That that movie's pain for people who know train stuff. Oh my god, right. it is going so fast. Can I get on? Montezuma, ever... no. The Zuma. Okay, I'm on. We're safe. It's fine. It's All fine. Right, break, break a little. Just yeah, we're gonna give it some breaks. Oh my god. All right, I can't we're good. It. It's fine. It's fine. I was like, why can I not catch it? It's full reg. Like, <laughs> it's just no... full reg downhill. You know, that's the way things happen on the CRAP. You know. Yeah. Unbelievable. That's a little spicy through there. It's fine. 
It's Dude, Betsy fine. is so shaky on hills. Like, I'm worried about an 060 on the hill because of the narrow wheelbase, you Right. Know? I'll have to see if it does any better or not. <laughs> no idea. See, this is, this is the real benefit that people aren't getting by not laying ridiculous railroads, is that you can break the speed limit of the game going downhill, so you can save yourself a lot of time after you've added a lot of time by running over the same piece of track six times to deliver eight cars. Yeah, but this is the authentic three-foot experience, you know? If this was a three-car ah! car, There's right, a car there! I forgot! Oh, ah! It's... Oh, God. oh, oh, it's... Okay. Well, now there's a did pile you, there. There's now a pile. Did you wreck it? I did. I, we have binned, sir. Forgive me for I have binned it. That, yeah, the client render distance, uh, that, that is a downside when you're going like 30 miles an hour when you come up on a car that's just there. <laughs> oh, it still keeps the load, though. That's good. Uh, at least there's that. Okay, brakes on. I thought, it lost, I thought it lost the load when it binned for some reason, but I guess that's, that's I guess good. not. That, that, I'm thankful for that because that would have felt really stupid. Yeah, that's okay. I mean, I'm not worried. This isn't going to be the first time we supply this route. Nope. It might, it might, well, no, it is the first time we're going to, it it's won't, not going to be, be the last, last time. time. Yeah, words are hard. It's fine. We're definitely going to okay. uh, have to get better engines, though, before we, we supply yeah, this road we, again. We can't, we can't do this again with these engines. We need something that has some semblance Let's of get power. Two more Betsy's, okay, and then we'll have, like, <laughs> just, six Betsy's just and helper engines. Just an army of O4Os just screaming. Yeah. Okay, this, we're, this, we're, all, we're all set to, to double pin this. Is this railed? This doesn't look railed. I mean, it was railed. I, I used the re-rail tool and it put it there, so... Yeah, the trucks are sideways. Well, it's, that doesn't matter. They're just visual. All right, whatever. Oh, uh... uh the pins... Okay. Oh, I gotta... Why do, the, why do these... Do we have two I links? We have two links. Hang on. I put a pin in the other one. My bad. That's okay. I'm gonna try and break. I can tie the brake here a little bit. Oh, it is brake. Okay, you're good. Uh, no, hold on. Oh, God. Couldn't unpin it. There we go. Right. Okay. Okay. Very good. We'll, we'll figure this out. This railroading thing. Yeah. We will. We will once oh someday oh. figure it out. Okay. So that's good. And then this one, we're on the track. Okay. We can pick up another beam car down there. Yeah. We're gonna. We're gonna run two. Yeah. Yeah. And because they're we'll a little bit more than half it. the weight of one of the lumber cars, we can't haul three of them because we already basically no tried well that, lumber right? cars were seventeen thousand pounds and these are ish. nine thousand and these yeah. are nine thousand it was just yeah. under half we, like we might get three beams out of it but it wouldn't even be worth it anyway because we have to get three more so yeah i don't think it'll work i think we can only we're not two. even halfway done yet think about that right oh no we're ha we're halfway done we've delivered three cars right Oh yeah, true, true. So we gotta do two more, three more routes, three, three more. Yeah, we've done three up the hill. We gotta do three more. Two will be two with beams, and two will be, or the last one will be just the one lumber car. Is the brake on in Betsy or something? Might be, might be. Okay, I was like, why am I? Why do I not have any power? Well, because you're driving a Zuma. Well, but, I, I mean, mean, that's also true. Poor little All right, Zuma. You've got a pin and link on the back of this one. I'm gonna hit some, a little bit of brakes. Uh, I can't see the cars, so. Uh, you got 10. Oh, there they are. There they are. Okay. <laughs> Playing as a client engineer. Are the cars there or are they not there? Schrodinger's All Railroad. Right. Let me get rid of this. You're good. To the link. This I'll undo. Dunk. Right. Or, uh, you, uh... Okay, you might want to... Yeah, you might want to tie a brake or something. Yeah, I did. Dunk. All right, good. Brakes untied, let's go. Go train, go! Alright. All in the mail again. Yes, the very beam large pieces of wood shaped mail. We might, we are, look at how fast we go. We are amazing. We actually like get to run at speed when we hit this, so hopefully it retains that speed. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we'll be able to find it. If we make it to the first plateau, I think we're good, but... With two, two of these cars, I mean, the load weight... There's also the self-weight like... of the car. It should be okay. We should be fine. Yeah, we're only like a thousand pounds heavier. I choose to oh, believe. Oh, I guess plus, plus the car weight. I choose to believe, yeah. Yeah. Man, we need we need better engines. It's amazing. <laughs> Dude, these are the only two engines we have. I'm excited for when they add passenger cars to the game, because Zuma will feel really at home with the passenger cars, because it's really not a freight engine, and we're asking a lot of the poor little thing right now. 
Yeah, but we gave it a we gave it a porter. I mean, you know, it's <laughs> the porter's a uh, uh, it's a little industrial switching engine. It is not an anything engine. <laughs> does it feel like we're losing? It does. And this the is, battle. This is this is sad. I'm gonna go check brakes just in case. Brakes off. I don't. Yeah. Brakes I don't, off. Come on, tender, trains. Ender brake is off too. Yep. All the brakes are off. This is just. This well, if we can just... make it to the plateau, Come on! then we can maybe get enough speed to at least park the car at the plateau. That would be that would be ideal. Oh my god, we're gonna have to do this eight times. <laughs> <laughs> Two engines, one car, eight times. Oh, Welcome man. to the crap. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to railroading 101. Oh my goodness. Come Dude, on. Dude, people don't, people don't, I can't believe that they actually did this kind of stuff in real life. Like four engines, one car over right. and over again. <laughs> this is what we did. But I mean, it was like going up to mines with like gold and silver and stuff. And so it was right. like, it was really so profitable. One car would be a lot. Yeah. yeah. That and labor was cheap in that era. So, you know, it was fine to have, five, you know, 10 dudes for crew just for the engines. The bridge does shallow up a bit when oh, we get man. up to that next Okay. Car. Okay, I, so, I choose to believe. I choose to believe in the Zuma and the Betsy. I'm putting my sand on preemptively just in case it maybe it's makes a difference. Probably. Okay, wise. when you actually put sand on the rail, it's putting sand on the rail between the the, the rail and the the wheel of the train, right? Yeah. But wouldn't that get crushed like down to like like a powder? Or it something? does. Like, how does it, that? It looks how does weird that... after you run over it. Yeah, it definitely does crush down. And then, and then what? It just blows off the rail, and they're like, whatever. Like, yeah, eventually just... the wheels kick it off, or it gets blown off the rail, or or ends up as a beach next to the rail typically Come I don't know, this, on, is, this is so close ah. they're still they're still moving like i'm not right now what would actually happen going this slow at least for the zuma is that you would get to the end of one power stroke and then it would center up because you're not able to apply power at the end you know when you're up front dead center back right, dead center the would lock. and then she would just stop like it, she would not continuously try to put power down like this the the power simulation is not quite accurate. But would <laughs> Betsy be able to do it because it's got the angle? With the smaller drivers, Betsy might do a little something. But I mean, you know, you'd have a There's better a chance of a slower. But you, you dude, know, dude, we're moving. I'm not complaining. We're, we're not still stopped. Moving. We have not stopped. Time. The hilarious thing is, you would be slipping and and fighting these engines to try and do this, and you would be throttle open, throttle closed, just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth to try and keep this moving like this. It would be so, so would much happen, more involved. <laughs> what would happen if, uh, like, you did start slipping? You tie brakes and hope it catches? Or, like, is that... Usually you, you reduce the throttle and then come back out on it, and you start sanding. You know, if you slip with sand on, I mean, that's that's pretty advanced. The sand usually really, really helps, so... <laughs> Dude, we're, we, might, we might make this plateau. We, we really might. Check back at eleven. You know more messages. Yeah, this is then. actually this is actually insane. This is this slow ride. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like there's no way you would make it through a power stroke. Your piston is so slow; it wouldn't have the momentum to push through the yeah, zero point. Yeah, you'd, you'd like send, you'd get to the top dead or front dead or back dead center, and then you would stop. That would be that. And then, and then the only way to get out of that is to roll backwards down the hill yeah basically. roll backwards a little bit till you get both sides again and then hope that you can keep enough steam and momentum to get past it yeah so they would roll backwards down the hill to a point where they could maybe pick up speed with some flat part or something you could try that or i mean realistically if you've got the power to start the load you have you would just roll back just far enough you know just to I think get you both ran out of sand in. did i run out of sand it's no longer coming out and oh, now yeah. we're stopping and i'm slipping well, that's unfortunate. We were actually making it with. All right, let's go full break. Uh, let's tie the back car, I guess. And yeah, just, and and we'll we'll run the one. We'll come back for it. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, this is ridiculous. All right. All right. Let's, let's just kick go. the air off. Sorry, kick the brake off. We don't have. I air. guess we should uh, do one of those magical finger snapping moments, and uh, I think, you know, I think we that's end up probably wise. Yeah. Yeah, end up end up at the top of the iron mine with all our cars. Yeah, this is sort I think, of a yeah, edit edit mode it because uh, yeah, we're this is this is a long one. This has been fun. But I thought this, is a this long was one. gonna be two. And I thought we were gonna get two cars. We only get one. That's nope. so bad. Yep. We'll we'll, uh, we'll join you all after oh. these brief messages. Boing 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 boing. Wow, Heist, that took no time at all. Look yep, at that. look at that. That was, that was magical. We definitely was so didn't uh, send it too hard and derail things, right. and cups were not. You want to um bring our bring our lovely uh let me see here four two six no four two four oh 
0402. Oh, oh, yeah, I mean, 0240. Oh, yeah, that right. one. 040240. Yeah, perfect. Let's just bring that back. Uh, we'll put it onto the round table, turn it around. Oh, God. I wonder and then if we we'll fit just on reassemble the table. our flat cars. It should. It should. It's Zuma and Betsy, right? They're yeah, small. I can get there from this track, right? Yep, yeah, it's all connected. We can do that. Go this way. Go that way. And then we'll reassemble this train. I'm going to just check and make sure all the car pins are set correctly so we can just kind of push these all together. It's probably a good idea. <laughs> this will be the last time we come to the iron mine for a while, I think. Yep, yeah, we need more We need more engines because, yeah. Uh, we need to be able to do the hill in one shot and not six or eight. Eight, eight. yeah, eight, eight. shots. Really I mean, eight. we made it halfway with the two cars and we had, like, not even halfway, probably a third of the way with the two yeah. cars of beams and had to cut them off. To be so, honest, though, it feels like a real narrow gauge experience. I mean, we're, is, uh, you know, I know I'm saying that a lot. This is genuine but... hysterical uh, shenanigans. Dunk. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, fine. That's what the buffers are for. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, yeah. Perfect. Well, the table's not lined up, because why would it line up with the track that it snapped to ever? That would, yeah, that would just be good, too good. That's a good question. Hold on. Let me get that for you. Ah! It. Breaks. Oh, God. Breaks. It's fine. Oh, I can see your shadow. Okay, we're good. All right. Oh God, it doesn't slow down. It doesn't. Well, that that cup is mine to pee in, I think. Oh well, you fixed you fixed that. You broke your bar. Hold on, go grab Betsy there. Oh my God, bro. <laughs> pee in a cup. Do 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 do. Momentum with the turntable. I can't just hold on. We might be able to re-rail right behind you here on the turntable. <laughs> okay, we need to still spin it. Let's uh, put, put the link back up. It's fine. Does it let me? No, it doesn't. It doesn't let me reroll. Do you want to just push forward a little bit, and I'll just throw it behind you? Sure. I'm. I'm oh, there we go. Hey, that that pinned in somehow. That's hilarious. Oh, you know what? Perfect. Actually, you can just spin around, and we'll and just... we'll just rerail the tender the there, other there way. We go. Yeah. Hey, problem solved. Yeah, and then you'll you wouldn't have even Bra fit. Betsy any... breaks. Okay, we wouldn't have fit. I don't think so. I would have been close. Got. Yeah. Let's <laughs> it off. It's fine. Walking around, pushing this strong arm thingy. <laughs> uh, it can be tough sometimes, but when when they're actually balanced, it's it's not too bad. I mean, one person can push a turntable. It's not it's not that hideously bad. But how so? How big is this strong bar in real life? Like, is it right it's a, next? It's about that big. Yeah, I mean, they're you know, it's a something like a maybe a ten inch diameter log, and it sticks off probably a good ten feet like that. That's it. That's it. Yeah, but I mean, you you got to remember your moment arm from the pivot is the plus yeah. half the turntable itself. So, right, but you have to overcome the inertia of the train, which has its moment from the pivot as well. I yeah. guess if it's perfectly centered, it won't. Yeah, but. well, perfectly centered, but I mean, you still have so much rotational inertia anyway of everything involved. Yeah. And how are yeah. you on the rail there? I can't really. It looks get... pretty good. I'm gonna send it. All right, can't really tell from that end very easily. Don't. Wow, I just got that bar in. Nice. All right, keep pushing back. I'll flip this switch for you. We just got to reassemble our train and go. Are you using just Betsy? Yeah, why not? Oh my God, no wonder. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter which one we do there. It's this one. All right. Perfect. Forward we go, sir. <laughs> Betsy's trying. Betsy's trying yeah, really hard. I'm gonna I'm gonna run from Montezuma again. Wouldn't uh, you like snap the arm doing what you just did there? Probably. To... That's probably highly likely. Yeah. It's fine. Just All notice right. that uh, it retains whatever position you press the F button with because John Ray Rhodeson is staring back towards the tender. He's not looking where he's going. Good. It's fine. All right. So we'll grab these ones first, I guess. Okay. So the shunt lane because it'll be easier. And then we'll, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Actually, it's pretty much the same deal. Yeah. Six Close of one, half a dozen the other. Pretty much, yep. Yeah. Here we go. Close that. Good. Didn't derail. Look at that. We're on a roll now. We are... No more cups. No more cups to pee no in this episode. Actually, we're, we're about to take eight. Up. We're about to Black take eight theory. empties down. Uh, there may be more cups. There may. There really might be more cups. Empty, bro. We'll, we'll be fine. We'll tie the back couple cars with some brakes. Dunk. Maybe. Dunk. Oh. Dunk. Dunk. Oh. Did you just, you gotta push back more. I think you bounced off. Yeah, you're good. Okay, hold on. Did you derail this back car? No, no. Go? We, we're just not pinned in all the way. Is there two okay. links? No, no. I thought it was linked. I guess I missed it. Dunk. All right, pull. This game would be a thousand percent better if it made Gary's mod physics sounds when you coupled. Just that hollow clunk. 
<laughs> we can have any gun too, so we can just throw trains across the map when we're really like looking for them. That'd be fun. Yeah, one, one truck on one train that's doing some weird looking stuff. That's fine. They're they're just visual. They're not the actual yeah. collision model. Yeah, it's just really weird. It does look weird, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't know why it's just drifting. It's breaking, uh, breaking, and also running reverse. It's fine. All right, perfect. Back up onto here. Good news is we've got some iron. We got 60 iron ore. That's cool. Now we just need to, I don't know, afford some cars. Afford six hoppers, you know? It's just, no. it actually consumed all the products we brought. So it is even, it's uh, That's it's carload to, to carload. Two. Okay, yeah. It's carload to carload, yeah. So it did take all the products we brought, which is great. Um, it gave us 60 iron in return, but yeah, that means we are- Dunk. Six hoppers. Dunk. Perfect. Or, uh, you gotta wait for dunk. the All right, good, 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 good. You need a dunk once more. Uh, One you'll more get dunk. It. Dunk. There we go. All right. You're good. Brakes are all off, I think. All right. Can, can we make it down the hill? <laughs> Somehow our cars are now all, like, out of order with the brakes, probably from all the various re-railing and, you know, that's, sort of yeah. accidents that happen. Most likely. <laughs> yeah. All right. So in this case, if we're going down the hill, right, you wouldn't want to break with just Betsy because that would be way too much compression. On yeah, Betsy. you'd you'd ideally be breaking with you know slight handbrakes on each car or mega handbrakes on the last car, really. Uh, and also, it's really really bad juju to run downhill with two engines. That's a bit of a no no. But it's fine. Oh, you would actually disconnect them and run them down separately. Yeah, it became a, a rule on the Rio Grande, actually, to make sure that you didn't double head downhill at, because they had some sort of slack action happen with two engines, and the one engine banged into the tender of the next one hard enough that it uh, it took the two both engines and knocked them off the fill, and they went tumbling down the mountain. So uh, <laughs> ever since then, they've banned double heading downhill. So, so. we would... Double head up with our helper trains, not Betsy. Yep. And then the helpers would just return go back to the helper home. station light. Yeah. Interesting. I've got a 66% break on the Zuma, and whatever you've got I back there seems to be holding it pretty good. Back cars break fully 100%. Of the four, four back cars? Just the back two. Back, back two. two. Okay. Oh my goodness. Yeah. We're still picking up speed, which is kind of insane. Well, 6.5% grade, man. This is genuine Uinta madness. Yeah, this is, uh, it's a bit sketchy looking, but that's, I, if I have to, I'll run and tie this one. I'm going to tie a third car. Oh, so can't. Oh, oh God. Oh, oh, no. oh, God. What did you do? I didn't do anything. Ah. I didn't do anything. Oh, my God. All right, I've left the Montezuma's brake on. D did everything go in the dirt? Uh, the last cars fought. Yeah, it's all. It's I didn't even save either when we assembled. Oh that. man, so we gotta rerail this whole madness now. <laughs> well, it's okay. It's an easy rerail. You just rerail it, and then the only thing you could see was just a sign that said "crap." That was <laughs> you couldn't even. See it. Uh, all right. Well, I'll, I'll start rerail and throw these back up. Oh my god. Well, that that's was, uh, that was precious. I think you're we were going too fast and it just everything just rattled off the track you yeah know? The, the physics the physics is still suspect yeah, it still likes to fall apart at high speeds yeah they're just all wow there's a car in a tree here <laughs> it's fine it's fine I god they bounced up against the tree unbelievable <laughs> i was running to tie a third car brake too and then this <laughs> and then it just totally fell apart yeah, it was it, too much, too much. We hit the sharp corner, you know, this is a 50 degree corner. It's not that sharp. <laughs> it's sharp enough, apparently. apparently. Apparently when you're going 30 miles an hour down the world's silliest railroad. Do I have all yeah. of them? I have one that I'm coming down with right now. Okay. I've got a Lincoln pin in this end. I have nothing on this. I'm going to full okay. break. Dunk. Dunk. All of the dunks. All right. Okay. All right, I think most Did of this madness is pinned. I tried to get it all on the, along the way. Some of them I didn't get the second pins in just because the next car was coming so fast. It was a, okay. a bit of a, an adventure there. Right. That one I didn't Did get. Did you lose any of the front cars or were they all? No, they all all, everything went off, but the, the engine stayed on. So, you know, we didn't just blow the up. Stayed, all the cars were gone. That's crazy. <laughs> we had just the last car that stayed on, right? 
So yeah, the last one stayed on for some reason, but the rest just it was a that was a nightmare. They just went kaboom, and that was that. <laughs> we had signs. I would mark a sign every place that we've had an accident on the railroad throughout the whole process. <laughs> I mean, I guess we could go back through the videos and like look up when we had all the accidents, but like it would be great just to have all these danger signs at every accident spot. You'd eventually have the whole railroad. <laughs> In memoriam covered. of Heiss's train on this yeah. day. Yes. <laughs> I, we just shook. We just shook right off the rails there. I feel like that's what happened. That was a little ridiculous. I'm on full brake again. Back to cars. Okay, I've got about a half brake on the Zuma. Oh my god, I love this initial helix bridge it looks so it ridiculous it looks redonkulous from up here it's awesome ah what? ah ah no <laughs> oh no what is happening oh my god we weren't even going that fast going that fast oh my god oh, oh well i'm the gonna, cups I'm gonna... the cups are calling <laughs> i've got the brake on full but i i don't think i can stop on this grade with the zuma Oh, well, at least you're still good. Oh my god, dude. Why are we derailing so much coming down this hill? Maybe maybe compression is the answer. Maybe tension braking makes the physics I, mad. Okay, well, I'll take the brakes off these last cars. Yeah, maybe they're pulling <laughs> off the line or something. Maybe. I, I seem to recall someone saying about uh, tension, like braking like the real way doesn't work in this game for some reason. So, yeah, maybe we should just brake it from the head end and... and uh, we're pretty pray. much down at the bottom anyway. We might as well grab those extra cars that fell all the way down the cliff. There's one blocking your path, so watch out. Okay. Oh, God, yeah, I can see it. It just rendered in. Yeah. Wow, I mean, I, I can, we can sacrifice Betsy to the flat car. I'm, I'm fine with that. These cars... Bet wait. Betsy's a plow now. Here we go. Oh, my God. Dunk. Dun okay, bye, Betsy. Bye, Betsy. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, that didn't work as I was hoping it would. Oh, man. Yeah, even with two cars braked, uh, these are picking up speed down this hill. Oh, boy. So I'm going to I'm gonna get dunked. Well, I can tie more brakes, but... It's fine. How, yeah, many cars, feel... how many cars do you have? I've got three that are five. down here. Okay. Five. So only three fell off significantly. All right. So moral of the story, compression brake. Uh, yep. Yep whole way down this this episode wins the peacup counter that's for sure dude this was insane i can't believe well helper engines i think is going to be a big a big help uh um, literally yeah yeah and then and then compression braking i guess i but, guess that's the, the, the we'll see if that's the answer i've been told that it works or something but well, i don't we'll, know we'll find out now we'll have to be the next time we go down this big hill again because which will uh, be in approximately 15 episodes once we have you know a yeah, locomotive an actual engine to do it Okay, I've got a Lincoln pin in this end over here. All right, I'm rolling with 0% brakes, but I've slowed it down a fair amount, I think. The Zuma's yeah. vaguely not on the track, but it's 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 working. Boing. Oh, now it's not. No, it's no. No, okay. Bye. Not on the track. What no. in the heck is going on? <laughs> well, the, I don't know if it's doing what it's doing on my it's end on your end. It's doing like ballerina spins. <laughs> Oh, you're attached to the tender? No, you're not. I, uh, I'm gonna flip my reverser the other way. No, I am just, okay, I am well, just here. Oh, it's you. fine. I can, I can maybe. Can I, can I, Montezuma? There we go. Oh no! Why are you doing this? There we go. There we go. You're good. Okay, it's fine. This has been an adventure. This is this episode has just been an adventure. This adventure. This episode brought to you by Peacups. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Sponsored by the ESD. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to leave that and I'm going to put some fuel in it. These cars behind you. Um, is it we brakes? also need to grab Betsy from the floor of the not, canyon. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I can throw Betsy on the back too. That's not. That's probably. This yeah. car doesn't seem to want to move, but it also looks like the truck is like fully sideways, so I don't know. I think this, this spits flat right here, isn't it? It is, yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah, you're right. This is flat. Never we'll mind. just we'll just compress the train together with Betsy on the back end, and it'll be fine. Okay. What are links we... and pins ready? So you should just be able to just shove Betsy through this madness, and uh, and it'll just work. That'd be great if I can get up the hill. <laughs> well, you know, it's fine. Unbelievable, dude. Unbelievable. You, we <laughs> binned it like three times coming down this hill. We are the bin. Look at me. We are the bin. <laughs> I'm very concerned that this hill might not be. I mean, I guess if if there's really a problem with tension break, we were under tension every time, so maybe we just have to compress it. And yeah, we'll have to see if that works. Otherwise, yeah, I don't, I don't know. We'll, 
right, it'll we'll just be an adventure play. every time, possibly, then. Hopefully these trucks fix themselves visually. Uh, you need to back what? up, because this car is derailing still. Can you back up? Yeah, full speed. It, it might Someone derail itself. No, it's... No. Yeah, it's it's no. mad. And away it goes! Jeez. Okay. Welcome to the crap. We're real, at we're real time, good we at this. We destroyed like, all these cars. We'd be coming back completely empty-handed. <laughs> Just... We ruined all of the pieces of equipment this railroad owns. Alright, keep it coming. Right. We're good now, though. <laughs> we put the whole mess back together. Goodness. Yeah, this is this is hilarious. <laughs> I can't believe it. Dude. This is this. Oh no, I've got I've got double Lincoln pins. Can you can you oh back up? My God. Oh Committing my. Committing sins. God. Committing sins of links and pins. Thank you. Okay, now ahead. The funny thing about this is like we built this line, but we're like ten episodes early. Right. We are way too early for this line. We do not have the hardware to deal with this. We really we really don't. We we've we've played we played ourselves. We should have built a different railroad. Or or I don't know. I like this alignment. I think it's very fun. But we need big choo choos now. Yeah. No, I, I love this road. I think this road is the best. Like the most unique way I've ever seen to get to the iron mine is absolutely ridiculous. It makes it, no sense. You it is. I love it. I it. love every bit of it. <laughs> <laughs> I had so many comments too on the last video of people being like, why don't you just build it 2% all the way from the smelter? And it's like, no! Why don't you no. do switchbacks? No, I just yeah. want to put the rag at full and watch the engine get on its knees. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not, uh, uh, the Betsy Porter's just getting towed. It's our caboose. It's not actually providing any power. It's fine. You're like pretty much flat the whole way and then 2% up at the smelter to get back to the freight depot. So we should be good. And now I can come hang out with you in the Montezuma and you know, just, just chill. Wow, what an adventure. Yeah, that was... Yeah, that's a that's an adventurous bit of railroad back there. That is some serious, serious shenanigans. We really, really need some big power for that. Yo, but uh, think about it. Like, we are... We spent, I don't know, a couple hours figuring all this out, that's, at least. At least a couple hours. It's fun. And, you know, and... It just, it's... it's If we were working the narrow gauge, this would be an all-day job. You know? This yep. would be a... <laughs> Eight, eight hour plus day. The ten mad hour alignment, hour. yeah. Just to run eight cars up a ridiculous slope. That's fine. <laughs> Love it. This whole route, though, this is so pretty up the canyon like this. This is just... This whole alignment is just... It's the prettiest bit of track I've seen in this game so far, I think. It still blows my mind that this is at the smelter level right now. Right. Like this is smelter level. You know, crazy what the terrain does in that valley. Yeah, do we still have all our cars? I guess someone should keep an eye out. Yeah, we do. Betsy's okay. still back there. Has it fixed these trucks now under tension? <laughs> they look like they're actually on the track finally. Maybe. No, this one's still drifting back here. It's having a good. So, oh, there's one in the middle that's drifting. It's such a weird visual glitch. Duh. That's fine. Yeah, I guess Drift the up. I guess the way that it actually works is that there's two interaction points that are like basically sleds. Uh, at right. each point, and then the trucks are just visual. So, man, we are. Uh, wow, what a how, you know how much money I made after all that? <laughs> like five hundred dollars, six hundred dollars. I had six hundred fifty before, and I got twelve fifty. That was it. Okay, Amazing. well, you know, only like another two thousand to get a class forty-eight, two thousand two fifty, right? So, yeah, we need to. Yeah. We need to go make some money. We need to make yeah, like we need run to trains. Run route though to make money we, this uh, this route is is uh painful to make money this way right now yeah yeah it is not it is not a good way to make money it's cool though but not not a good way to make money no yeah we're gonna need to do like something this river. it's nice we get caught back up to the river yep i guess we're gonna uh head back to the freight depot yep park the train start seeing about what we need to do for making some money next time maybe a bunch of cord run runs or something just the freight depot or, or wood and like logs beams just, yeah you know, all up, just just, just build depot. build big flat trains yeah that sounds like a fun yeah, time big flat trains make a lot of money uh, you know spend a lot of time loading but i think i think that's the the name of the game to make as much money as we can as quickly as possible we need some money so that we can get more engines so that we can get more people and, and more money it's like yeah. a self-fulfilling prophecy at that point yeah it's, it's kind of like an exponential curve you know once we once we start picking up the the money and the industries like once we can start delivering iron and then start selling the iron you know the money will flow but it's right now we can't afford hoppers and if we could i don't even think the two engines could pull a hopper car <laughs> probably not <laughs> i feel like i feel like they would bog down with a single hopper car 
Seventeen thousand pounds. I don't, you know, I don't know. I don't know what an empty hopper is, but it's yeah. It's pretty I stout. Know. I want to say a loaded one was like thirty-five thousand pounds. Oh, a loaded one was like forty thousand pounds. They were heavy. Yeah, goodness. They're they're big monsters. Um, but like yeah, uh, and a cordwood load is like forty-eight thousand pounds or some ridiculous thing. So it's like the good times. But yeah, let us know what you guys think in the comments down below. We're just gonna head back up to the freight depot, which isn't really much, but full reg in it. So you know. Yep. We'll catch y'all next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Yep. Yep.